Hi everyone, Release Fight here, so I'm going to talk you through how to fish in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. You might think, hey why bother? Well, it gives you two little heart container parts, so it's definitely worth doing at least to get kind of one of the small fish and the big fish at the bottom, but it's not exactly easy, so I'm going to talk you through the entire process now. Hopefully it's going to help you out. If it does, drop me a like below. But essentially, the fisherman's instructions are pretty simple and they won't necessarily tell you how to catch fish. They'll just tell you the buttons that you can press to be able to do things. So you cast with A and the longer you hold A, the further you'll cast out and then you use the left analog stick to press left and right and up and down to be able to, uh, to, be able to move the lure through the water. So you can see I'm bobbling it around to try to get in front of the big fish in the middle. So if you use the left analog stick to do that, that's all well and good, but the whole catching process is pretty tricky. So in the instructions, it told you to use A and to press it more to be able to reel in quicker. However, it didn't talk to you about the line snapping and the fish running off. So you can see here, I've caught the fish, or at least I've got it on the line. I got it really close, but because I continued to tap A, when it was running away, when it was trying to get away, the line snapped, the fish got away. Instead, what you want to do is to be able to tease the fish in. So again, use the left analog stick to get one of the little ones. And then once it's on the line, then you want to be able to use A to bring it in when it's not running away. So bring it in fast, let it run a little bit, and then bring it in some more. You need to be fairly patient to be able to get the fish in. So you can see it runs away quite a lot. But remember not to try to fight it too much when it's running away. You just want to like tap the A button a little bit when it's running away, maybe once or twice to get it to turn around quicker. And then when it does turn to face you, you can then smash the A button to bring it in and just watch out for when it starts to run away again. So repeat that process over and over again and you'll eventually catch your first fish. But... The big fish are a little bit more tricky to catch than the little fish. So the little fish is relatively easy to get. And like I said earlier, you'll get one of the heart container pieces as a result of it. However, the bigger fish are much more tricky. And the reason for that is because they're heavier and they will break away from the line a little bit quicker. So I just want to talk you through the same process again but this time catching the big fish at the bottom, which will give you another of the heart container pieces. So again, using the left analog stick to be able to get the lure a little bit closer to it. And then when it takes the bait and gets on the line, you want to start reeling it in, but you can see it's fighting it. So when it fights it, you definitely don't want to fight against it too much, but when it's facing you, you want to smash that A button as much as possible, but be ready to stop as soon as it turns away. When it does turn away, you can get it to turn to face you a little bit quicker by you can see the line just doing like a few little yanks on it without pressing loads, just like one, two, three, just little bits as it's turning away to be able to get it to turn and face you quicker. And then if you keep that process up, you'll slowly and surely reel it in. So let it go away, turn and give it a couple of like small yanks to get it to come in your direction and then pull it in as much as possible when it's facing you. Again, just a couple of yanks there. It's turning away, one yank, two yank, and then back in as soon as it turns to face you. Don't get too over eager when it gets close. As soon as you get it close enough, it will jump out anyway. Don't go crazy on the A button smashes when it's facing away from you at that point because it's gotten so close. So that's it. That's how to fish here in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully the video helps you out and if it does, drop me a like below. You can see I've got a different weighted lure as a result of that and that will help you to fish for the bigger fish a little bit better anyway. But you'll still need to use the same process and obviously having the heart piece is going to be beneficial. Like I said, drop me a like below if the video is helpful. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and hit that bell button if you want to get notifications for all of my videos as they come out. You can see the rest of my series on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments below, let me know how you're getting on with the fish and I will catch you next time.